Welcome back to Triple R, my friends, the channel that teaches you how to recreate your favorite signature dishes from the most popular restaurants. And in this episode, we're gonna be teaching you how to make the brand new menu item from Outback Steakhouse, their Kingsland pasta. The new Kingsland pasta from Outback Steakhouse is grilled steak and shrimp over fettuccine noodles and tossed in a bold Alfredo sauce. So there you have it. Bold, my friends, <laughs> bold. <laughs> And we're gonna get into it right now. But first I wanna give a quick shout out to my viewers, Tiger Lily and Eric. This is their recipe request. And so friends, I hope you enjoy the video. And if you happen to have a restaurant or a recipe that you'd like me to feature in an upcoming episode, go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. I'm actually just like the DJ up here, just spinning plates to your requests. So get that request in and hopefully I'll get to it before closing time. All right, let's get started. I have here about a pound of sirloin medallions that I have trimmed and uh, cut down to portion. Each one of these medallions comes to be about one and a half ounces. It may look like Outback uses filet on their Kingsland pasta, but they don't. First of all, the dish itself is only about $26 or so, I think. They're not getting away with charging $26 and serving filet. Um, and the second reason that, that I know that is because sirloin is kind of like what Outback considers to be their signature steak. I know because I used to work there many moons ago, straight out of college, um, which at the time was the busiest Outback Steakhouse in the entire corporate chain down in Sarasota, Florida. And I just found out that that store closed their doors permanently just like a couple of weeks ago, which was kind of sad, right? It's like an end of an era for me. And now I have here about a pound of golf shrimp that have been peeled, deveined, and tails still on. Now you just want to skewer the steak and the shrimp to make sure that all of the seasoning evenly coats it and then of course for a more even cooking temperature. And now you just want to take your Outback Steakhouse seasoning and season each side of the steak and shrimp skewers. But what's in Outback Steakhouse's seasoning blend you ask? Check out right here. To make Outback Steakhouse seasoning, start with one half of a teaspoon of onion powder, one half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of unsmoked paprika, one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one fourth of a teaspoon of ground coriander, one half of a teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and eight to 10 cranks of cracked black pepper, totaling about a half of a teaspoon. And now just mix all of the seasoning ingredients. Make sure that your indoor grill pan or your outdoor grill is like the hottest temperature possible because you want to get a nice sear on these steaks. Sear the sirloin medallions for about three minutes per side for medium rare temperature. Once the medallions get a nice sear, flip them over and sear them for an additional three minutes on the other side. Once the desired meat temperature is reached, go ahead and remove the skewers and set them on your plate. And now place down your shrimp skewers. Grill the shrimp for two minutes per side, turning once. Now is a great time to cook your fettuccine noodles. So in a large pot of salted water, boil your Barilla fettuccine noodles to al dente instructions according to the box. While the pasta is cooking, we'll quickly whip up the Alfredo sauce and then we'll be able to enjoy the Kingsland pasta from Outback Steakhouse. In a very deep saute pan and on a medium high heat, melt six tablespoons of unsalted butter. Once the butter begins to sizzle, add two large garlic cloves that have been minced. Stir the garlic in the sizzling butter until the garlic becomes very fragrant, but do not allow the garlic to burn. Add one cup of whole milk and two cups of heavy cream. Once the cream mixture is simmering, add a half of a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese and a half of a cup of freshly grated Pecorino Romano. Stir constantly until the cheese is completely melted and the mixture is creamy. Now add the fresh lemon juice from one half of a lemon, one half of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, add three pinches of kosher salt, add some cracked black pepper, and the remainder of your Outback seasoning mix. Now reduce the heat to low and allow the cheese mixture to reduce, stirring frequently. Once your Alfredo sauce sticks to the back of a spoon, add in a half of a cup of fresh Italian parsley, finely chopped. Now add in the cooked and drained al dente fettuccine noodles. Toss the cooked pasta in the Alfredo sauce for an additional minute to minute and a half to allow the pasta starches to thicken the sauce. The way that the Outback serves this dish is they start by putting the Alfredo into a pasta bowl and then they top it with the grilled shrimp and the grilled steak. Should I attack the shrimp or the steak first? Steak it is. All right, wish me luck. You got a winner here, Outback. All right, let me see if it's as good with the shrimp. <laughs> I just want to be thorough, you know? 
My husband says that he thinks that the funniest parts of my video are when I take a bite at the end, because he's like, God, could your bites get any bigger? <laughs> oh, they can. They can. Yeah, they can, and they probably will. Like, for example, <laughs> you all don't want to see me eat on camera. <laughs> you just want to know how it is. And it is top tier. Super scrumpy. Keep this on your menu, Outback. You can find the full recipe and instructions on my website right here. I'll put it right there, restaurantrecipe-recreations.com. And just remember, until I see you all again, make it an awesome, awesome day. Cheers. I love y'all. And for more Outback Steakhouse recipes, check out right here.